Okay, this is my final video. I'm going to go over how to do your balance sheet on the worksheet and then the actual uh, literal balance sheet that we use in our statements. Okay, financial statements. So let's jump in. Balance sheet, remember, is assets minus liabilities plus stockholders' equity. Very, very important to keep that equation in mind. Just like our equation of revenue minus expenses for net income tells us what goes in our income statement, assets minus liabilities plus stockholders' equity tells us what goes in our balance sheet, which is going to be our assets, our liabilities, and our stockholders' equity. So let's jump in. Right? So all we're going to carry over to our balance sheet are our assets, our liabilities, and our stockholders' equity. Very important to keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I got 11,400 here. Uh, my supplies are 6150. Uh, my, I'm sorry, my accounts receivable are 6150. My supplies is 380. My prepaid insurance is 1800. My equipment is 30,000. Those are my assets so far. Then I go into my liabilities. I know that because I'm on the credit side. We always put our assets first, and our liabilities next, and then our stockholders' equity, which is symbolized by our common stock and our dividends here. Okay, so I jump in. I got my ten thousand. I've got my twelve three fifty. Oops. My twelve three fifty, which is my accounts payable, and then I'm on to my stockholders' equity, which is twenty thousand, and then I've got my dividends right here of six hundred. Now my revenue, my expenses, I already use those, so those don't go into anything. But I get all the way down here to accumulated depreciation. This is actually going to go in here because accumulated depreciation is considered a contra asset an asset that holds a credit balance because it offsets the value of our equipment. Now, our depreciation expense doesn't go down there. That's an expense. We already accounted for that. But our interest payable is a liability. So that goes in there. So I've got all my numbers carried over, all my assets, all my liabilities. Um, remember, liabilities, anything that I owe. So anything that's payable is going to be considered a liability. Assets are anything that add value to me. So anything that's receivable, or anything like equipment, supplies, or cash that has inherent value is going to go in there. Okay? Keep that in mind. You shouldn't, shouldn't be led astray. So now I add these numbers up. I get my handy dandy calculator out here. Calc. Pop it over here and I add them up. So I got 11,400 plus 6150 plus 380 plus 1800 plus 30,000 plus 600. And I've got 5330. So I come down here, and that's going to be my final total is 53.30, and I'm ready to go. Okay, let's see if the other side balances out there. So I jump in here, I got 1,000, I'm sorry, 10,000, that's an important difference, uh, 12,350, 20,000, 1,000, and 300. I'm down here, and that's going to be my total here, it's going to be 43.650. 43,650. That is not 5330. So what's the difference? The difference is net income. Remember that net income comes over here. It's a stand-in that helps us with our retained earnings, right? So we jump here. We go 43,650 plus 6680. And bada boom, bada boom, we got 5330. So make sure that you carry that over for your balance sheet to the credit side because that symbolizes our um, Ending retained earnings, which is a part of our owner's equity. Okay, so we got 5330 on both of those. We're balanced out. We're good to go on our worksheet. Look at that beautiful work of art. All right, let's jump over to our balance sheet. What are we doing with our balance sheet? We're just recording our assets, then our liabilities, then our stockholder's equity, and our retained earnings, and that should all balance out. So my first asset, if you're following along, is cash. And cash is going to be 11400 And this is just pulling right off my worksheet here. I've got accounts receivable next. My accounts receivable is 6150. That's money that's owed to me. Um, so anytime something's sold on account, that's accounts receivable. Like they owe me money, so I'm gonna get that back in the future. That's an asset. And then I've got my supplies. My supplies are 380. And then I've got my prepaid insurance. My prepaid insurance is 1800. And then I've got my equipment. My equipment is 30,000. I'm not done there. You might think we'll jump right into our liabilities, but we don't. We actually have one other asset that goes here, and it's our unique one. It's our contra asset, our accumulated depreciation. Right? This offsets the value of equipment. So here I put my accumulated depreciation. I know that's 1,000, so I put that in parentheses. 
1000 it's going to put it in as a negative $1,000 as a result of that. Now, I could put net equipment here if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that, right? Um, because that's all accounted for here. But my equipment is no longer worth 30000 It's worth 29000 So keep that in mind. Now, I want to total my assets here just to make sure that I have the right balance. And I jump here, and I've got 11400 Plus 6150 plus 380 plus 1800 plus 30,000 minus 1000. I've got 48730. 48730. Let's see if that's the right amount. Right here on my sheet, Mrs. Fischel gave me it and she said it's 48730. Hey, we're good to go on our total assets. Now, this number is going to equal our liabilities plus our stockholders' equity. So let's see what that is. And we know our liabilities are right here in our worksheet, right? We got them right there in a row. So let's pop them in there. It's going to be all of our payables. So it's our notes payable, our accounts payable, and all the way down here, our interest payable. Don't forget you're adjusting entries down there. So let's start with our notes payable. And notes payable is a credit balance of $10,000. Next up is my uh, accounts payable. My accounts payable is all the people that I owe money to, not just my loan. My notes payable says so twelve three fifty, and then my final one is going to be at the very bottom there. It's my interest payable. My interest payable here is going to be three hundred. So all of that together is going to be my total liabilities. My total liabilities. Let me add these up and see if I get the right number. Ten thousand plus twelve three fifty plus three hundred. 22650. That's going to be my total liabilities. Notice these don't equal because it's liabilities plus stockholders' equity, right? So I jumped down here and now I need my stockholders' equity. So my stockholders' equity is going to be my common stock. And if I jump over here into my worksheet, I see my common stock. This is people own, literally own a portion of the company. Normally they give us cash in exchange for that. So that's the ownership. That's $20,000. But here I put $20,000. That's my first one. And then the next one is my retained, my ending retained earnings. And that's very important. That ending retained earnings takes my net income that I made and it subtracts my dividends there and has my beginning retained earnings. All of that's very important to determining my total ownership. So those retained earnings belong to ownership. So that's why it goes in this category. And so I did my statement of retained earnings. I got that number. And so that flows right over here to my balance sheet. So I put my 6080 in there from that. And I can get my total stockholders' equity, or owner's equity. And that number is going to be simply the combination of those two 20,000 plus 6080. And that'll be 26,000. And eighty dollars, twenty six zero eight zero. Okay, and then I add these together and cross my fingers that my total liabilities plus my total stockholders' equity is going to equal my total assets. So I have twenty two six fifty plus oh that's six eighty six fifty plus twenty six zero eight zero forty eight seven thirty. That is my ringer that's total liabilities plus stockholders equity right there and let's underline that bad boy you'll double underline it in yours and now you can see that my two sides balance and i have finished my balance sheet bada boom bada bing and that's it that's your entire exam. The only thing I didn't go over is if you have other entries, which I think you will, where they say, hey, you sold this good for this amount of cash or cash received for the sale of a good or sale of a revenue. Um, or they'll say, hey, there's new stock and you get cash in exchange for that stock. So you need to be able to put those things there. You buy something on account or something by someone you on account. I'll do another video tomorrow that goes over some of those accounts. Hopefully that'll be helpful for you. All right, that's it.